Link 2012. Arms. Hey, look, it's mouse. It's a mouse. I was a big fan of exploding TNT back in the day, and I wanted to include him in here. I'm not sure if he ever did anything on Hypixel. I'm pretty sure he did. Hypixel is a pretty big server. Um, he even squeaks like a mouse. So if you give him, you can get cheesy potions from him. You can get amplified cheesy potions. You can get extended cheesy potions. So this is really the interesting thing. So you can get saturation for 10 minutes, which is really nice. I don't think we're going to do that now, but later on we might do that instead of carrying around stuff. Um, I can't remember if there's anything up here. Oh, there might be. Yeah, there's a Gandalf head up here. So, of course, you can't get all the heads in the game. Or you want to get all the heads in the game, so I hide some. Like these ones. I don't want you to kill Gandalf here. Even though he might... He's just called Wizard, but we all know who he is. We all know who this guy really is. He's Gandalf. Yeah, I did want a wizard here. In this mysterious area. Oh, his head's right there. Okay. And this is really cool. So this animation was... This is when I started working with armor and animation. And I think I did a pretty good job at it. I Not only was I... I, I spent a lot of effort getting, you know, the sticks here right. the His arm moving and everything. It was so fun. There were some bugs with this too. Because I originally I had it on a clock. A normal redstone clock. I, I don't think I have it on it. I might still have it on one actually. Um, but yeah, it, it, he waves at you, which is pretty cool. Right click to interact. And you can click this to help. Um, only one player needs these items for them to work. For everyone. If you have mermaid tears, everyone gets water regeneration. Oh, yes. So this is... Mm. This guy has some really cool stuff. So you can get sulfur tips, which basically your arrows explode if they land close to an enemy or if they hit the enemy. You can get the dark aura, weakens nearby enemies within a five block radius. Then you've got medallion of courage. Now some mobs are immune to this. They already have weakness, for instance. Medallion of courage is resistance three for 12 seconds when below 4 HP, and strength 3 for 8 seconds below 3 HP. So basically, this is almost negates the negative effects that we get when we're on low health. And then Demon Scale. This one's really nice. 33% uh, chance every 2 seconds to get fire resistance for 4 seconds. So you're... I can't remember the actual amount. Um, so this is like 66% fire resistance, which is nice. Now, I don't remember... Where we get magma, I guess we can use goo and, uh, I don't think, I'm not sure if we have blaze rods. We can use that to get magma cream. Uh, then we have mermaid tears. This gives us regeneration one for five seconds when in water. Resistance two for one second when in water. So that's really, really nice. And the admin diamond, when you are damaged, there is a 20% chance that enemies within a nine block radius will burst into flames for six seconds. Those are all really stinking good. And we probably want a few extra of them. So if we have all these, one, two, three, four, five. So that takes up five inventory spaces. That's a lot of inventory to lose. Um, thankfully, we don't have to have as much for light. And we won't need as many potions in that case. Let's not grab them quite yet. Let's explore a little bit of below the mansion before we get some uh, charms. Always difficult naming all of those. <laughs> like, yeah, you name a lot of the objects in the map, and you want them to have meaning. Uh, and you, of course, want you don't want to use be like necklace of this, necklace of that, or use the word pendant a million times. So, all right, give me my hunger. I want my saturation. Oh, this is really cool over here. I remember over here. This is in the trailer for Descent. Not we'll see in here in a moment. Ah! Alright, where are you at? It actually feels much more satisfying to kill mobs when you know they're giving you saturation. And hunger. Mostly saturation. Where are you at? I want you 
messing with me, so. It also gives, of course, XP bottles, which is nice. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and eat a golden apple. Oh, what was on this inventory spot? I guess your usual potion. So let's just go ahead and put another... Ah! Alright, let's get into the house first. Let's put some ender pearls here. Right, let's put our goals in here. Then we don't need... We could get the admin diamond right now, almost. Well, how much does the admin diamond cost? 30. 30 XP. Oh, it takes a beastly potion to get mermaid tears. I knew we needed the beastly potion for something. And of course, the monkeys do drop fecal matter. That's, that's a nice touch. I'm pretty sure this is one of the areas where fire resistance fi fire is disabled. I mean, for obvious reasons. You look at the background of this area, and it's entirely flammable. And you get these potion effects all throughout the background. And they're different colors, and they're, they're alternating... But most importantly, they're potion effects. Why are there potion effects here, you know? Okay, what is hitting me? Monkeys. Ouch. Yeah, so those arrows will light you on fire if they're close to you, so... Be careful about that. So you see how that entire area got lit on fire? Do that arrow. I just want to clear out a bit of an area, that way we can go ahead and get Thor along. Ah! Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. My armor is un pretty much unbreakable, but I take a lot of damage, so... Oh, so there's Thor along. Nuts! What are the bricks? I can't remember. Oh, they're their weapons, but what do they have on them is what I'm wondering. Okay. No! The beetles are uh, so annoying! The mob I make such annoying mobs. Um, they're difficult. That's the goal, to make them difficult. You don't want a bunch of easy mobs. Alright, let's just rush out of here. Wonderful. Boom. Down. Boom. Down. Making progress. We haven't checked out the tree. There is something in the tree. I don't remember what, but there is something. I think it's... Ooh, there's something at the bottom of the tree, too. Alright, so we got another extended cheesy potion. That's nice. Golden apple. Sweet. We're, we're using a bunch of those. And some vines. I think we can climb. Yeah, we can can climb vines technically like that. All right, I don't know how I'm going to get up here. I think I might climb one of the smaller trees and then work my way up from there. We have feather falling. We better. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to make the sword more powerful because it is eh, sort of weak. Could have sharpness five. Could have fire aspect. You know, small things like that. And we are using up our blocks like crazy. Hopefully we have we get some up here. You really came all that way up here? Yes, I did. And so you get some sulfur tips. Which I don't know if I want to use. Because I know that enemies can set them off. But at the same time, sulfur tips are really, really, really fun. So, feather falling. We do not need feather falling one bit. Now let's take them. But let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Alright. Yeah! <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. One heart down. Thanks for that jump. I don't remember if there's anything in here. I doubt it. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Or there, we killed it already. It might be, it's going to be help. Oh, th there's, there was food here. That's what was here. 
Where's Noi? We're just not eating a lot right now because we're killing so much. Oh, and we got some more light. Perfect. Ouch. Interesting that that one tree is a different color. No explosion! Okay. Yeah, it only uses the sulfur tips if there's an explosion. You run out of sulfur tips really quickly, though. Because you, you like to shoot arrows when you have them. They destroy the terrain is the main downside to them. So in the mansion especially, sulfur tips are dangerous. Because they can blow up and then uh, stuff will fall down. That's one of the things I really wish I could have changed. What I really should have done was use creeper explosions. I think the reason I didn't, though, was because it was affected by difficulty. So if you're on easy, uh, creeper explosions are much smaller than on hard. And I didn't want that. I wanted, to, wanted it to be universal. And as a result, you have a really big explosion. All right, so we got some fire resistance. Fire resistance is nice, especially since we don't have the demon scales yet. Go ahead and use that. Okay, perfect. Now, I think we are going to explode a Mr. Oh, yeah, we just ran out of strike, too. Ouch. Oh, I don't want to shoot him. I want to shoot these guys, though, over here. Right. You will never take me alive, says Thorlon. Boom, and then he explodes, and he drops some stuff. That you don't want to, you don't want to get destroyed. Oh, we got a break, finally. And we got some company. Yeah! Take that, you stinking skeletons! You rebels! And they're all afraid of the dog! Yes! Finally, Lass is helping me out! Nuts. Oh, that was a bad one. I forgot that it will it has a pretty big range. So you don't want to do what I just did right there. You play in this map. Perfect. And we don't want any skeletons around here that might shoot an arrow that could explode. And I think we're out of silver tips at that, so we're actually fine. Let's get this stuff before we get anything else, though. Alright, so the brick. Make brick smash human. And what does the monkey skull say? Just blast protection 4. Perfect, perfect. Thorlon. Ah! My dog better still be around. Yep, he's still around. I hear him. I don't want him to die. Because Lassie is really powerful. Okay, so this is the funny thing. Now, I'm not sure... Oh, sweet. There's a thing. A frame of eternity for loyalty. Hmm. So that's an entry... Yeah, I don't know if I should explain that or not. I think you guys can figure it out. But first, let's try to lift this hammer. Remember, this is Thorlon. You are not worthy! You cannot take this hammer. I think the only possibility to take it is if you die like on the frame that you collect it, and then you keep your inventory. Like That's the only way. But... Yeah. I want to see what it says. Thorlon's hammer. That's what it says. I, I don't know about the description. But fun fact, the o there is one person that can pick it up. <laughs> and that is Thorlon. <laughs> so Thorlon, if you happen to watch this, which you probably won't, or if someone else is watching this, tell Thorlon, hey, have you played Descent? Have you gotten Thorlon's hammer yet? Because he can He's the only player in the game that can get that hammer. And that hammer is pretty decent, if I remember right. Uh, it's really good. It's really good. All right, let's go grab this bow now. Um, comeback's bow. Perfect. And we get some more sulfur tips, which I don't mind. We are not going to grab sulfur tips if we find them in the mansion, though. That's for sure. We got some regen... I might as well drink one of these.
because regen is really nice, especially on hardcore mode. So this is what is it? Okay. But a frame of eternity for loyalty. And the beetle skeleton right here, that's pretty nice. So you get oh wither skeleton skull too, that's nice. Um so it's forever, but is it? Hmm. Well, actually, it is. Well, it depends. It depends. <laughs> it depends. All right. We have. Oh, we got another stamina potion too. That's really nice. Wizard. Oh, I probably have enough. We can get the developer diamond. Let's go ahead and grab it. That's actually really funny. I didn't plan for that. No, did I? No, I think I did. I think I put that there just thinking that people might get this. I, I'm trying to remember two. We could get any of these other, a lot of these other ones too, if we want to right now. But I think we're just going to keep the developer diamond for now. The developer diamond is pretty good. Mermaid, Mermaid Tears is the really overpowered one. I really want it because you become a tank in water, and I really like that. Oh, we really should drink some potions here. Now, I think we're going to go around the mansion now. Now that we've uh, conquered this. I do want to see, though, do we have anything in the forest... I don't think I put much in here because I didn't want players to go out of their way exploring. I wanted them to explore, but I didn't want them to explore too much. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. You know, if you pair the developer diamond with the beastly potion, I think that's why I made it the beastly potion because the beastly potion, these are some really overpowered combinations in this game. Um, what ends up happening is you're taking damage super often, and you get everything around you gets fire if you get damaged. So basically, they're constantly on fire with that combo. All right, let's go ahead and drink some potions up here before we go around. I think we want to go around the other way. I don't think it matters a ton, but I want to go this way. I can't remember if you can get the iron blocks from this door. I think I allowed it, but we, we, we'll have to check here. Uh, I'm not going to go in the mansion yet, though. Let's go ahead and use up these things. And haste. So we're going to go around. We're going to take down all the spawners, grab any interesting chests. Anything up there? No. Anything up there? Yes. I don't know if that spawns anything on the inside, but... It does, it's gone now. Alright, it's just up here. Alright, Ender Pearl. Grab the goo, grab the diamonds, grab the stamina. Don't unless this is it oh it's philosophers, I'll take it. I was like, if it's an extended cheesy potion, you bet I'm gonna take it. <laughs> but no, it's just a it's a regular. Okay. Perfect. So now those are down. I think those can spawn on the inside, so it's really nice that we took care of it now. Right, good, good. I think we might just run around here. Oh, wow, this part burnt down slightly. Oh, this, okay, fun fact. There was fire, or is it? No, there was, okay. So there was fire, and we have an explodey shot, so we might as well. So this, that, that's where you, your explodey shot helps. Um, But there was fire in the original map, and... It burned down part of the mansion. It would actually burn down the whole mansion if you didn't delete the fire. Um, and thankfully, you know, I could use an MC edit filter to do that, but which is nice. The only issue was that whoever downloaded 
the map. No. Never mind, never mind. So I decided to keep that as a uh, tribute to um, that wonky feature. That wonky little aspect. Oh, I think there's something on top of there. I could be wrong. Let's break it all. Break it all. Then get them all in one place and then we can explode them. Yeah, I, I, I debated putting stuff back here. But in the end, players would come back here. Also, in the original map, there are chests back here. And I wanted to uh, s stay true to the original map. With all most of the chests. So... A lot of baddies here. And now it's lagging. Thanks to my shenanigans. Alright, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, take that. Ouch, they do that much damage? They do four hearts of damage? That's a whole lot. That's balanced, I think. I think these guys should do about four hearts of damage anyways, but it still feels like a lot. Okay, another diamond pickaxe. We have plenty of those now. Let's grab the goo. Ouch! What on earth? Oh, yes. The enemies in there will smite you. So, that's what you're saying right there. All right, we can't shoot you without exploding you, so. No chests along here that I can see. Now, over here, there is something. There is, uh... Let's get all these fellows in one general region. One general area. So we can... Boom, boom. Right. Nuts. Get out of here. Nice. All right, let's, let's explode them once more. Wonderful. Man, there's just so many of them. How many more sulfur tips do I have? I think I'm out, actually. Yeah, I think I'm out of sulfur tips. Bummer. But I do want to get that stuff. That guy right there. So let's go ahead and rush over. This is... Oh! Oh, this is a... Oh, this is a joke. Bone Crusher's head. Um. Oh, that was redstone. Okay, I think it's okay. Got the emerald. Get out, 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 get out. Okay, good. What's the point of having strength if I'm not using it? Oh, I love how this how the rebels flee at my dog. Very nice touch. Right, I want to go on top of this thing, because I think there is something. Bone Crusher's head. I love how he just kills himself by hitting me. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything on top of here. Although we could mine in right here, and I'm sure we'd get some loveliness. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks terrifying. That looks terrifying. There's some really neat mobs here, and some of the some of them aren't implemented as good as they could be. Like the... Uh, I'll, I'll explain it when I get in there, actually. Maybe we should go around the other way. We still have a lot of strength left. If only we had a regen potion. Hmm. I wonder where we could get one of those. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think there's actually regen in the original map over here. Too. There are some really interesting secrets to the mansion that you don't notice if you're playing, uh... When you're playing it. Like, there's a lot of secrets that I missed, even. Even though I've played this map probably about ten times. With various people at various times. And I'll show you most of them. If I remember them. Like, a lot of the chests out here difficult to difficult to find. 
Like this one. And there's zombie pigmen in the original map. I can't remember if I keep them. Because they're a pain. They, they take a lot of hits to kill. Alright, Bone Crusher's head. What's up, man? Wait, do the boats bones say anything? Just a bone. Okay. Yeah, just just bones. Bones, bones, bones. Oh. Bone meal. Yeah, there was an inside joke about bone meal. I can't remember the whole thing. <laughs> uh, I think I used to play uh was it Mega Walls with Bone Crusher or was it UHC? I think I played both with him. And it was in one of those days. So Bone Crusher was the more vulgar friend. And I would always try to record, but I wanted everything to be PG. Uh, it would be me, him, and Yashix, I think. And Yashix will... S I think we... I can't remember if we got his head yet. But we do get something from him later in the map. He has a really good bow. The best bow on the map is Yashix's bow. Man, there are a lot of spawners back here. Glad we're taking them all down. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them right now. Is this the beetles? Yeah, I think that's beetles. Right. Perfect. Let's grab this guy up here. Ah, run away! All right, I'm gonna cut through here and go back. Back over. Ah, come on. Pressed five instead of seven. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Oh, there's one over here. I forgot about this one. All right. What's this say? Slowness, potency five. So basically they can't move at all. Or it's very difficult for them to move when that potion's on them. I don't think we're, we'll take it, because I don't think we'll use it. Wait, do we have silver tips now? Yeah, let's not. Don't want to explode last, you there. We'll take these, though. And apples, just ordinary apples. Alright, monkeys. Get out of here. I can't shoot at the crazy beetles. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Nice thing that these guys are one-hit kills. So we can get some more hunger and keep them from exploding everything. Oh boy, yeah, let's uh let's explode these guys. Best way to take care of a group of monkeys is to explode them with a sulfur tip. This is a lot of damage to us, too. Even though we have blast protection. I, wonder, I don't think these guys do. I know the beetles do. Remember their heads? Alright, All right, I'm not... I don't have enough haste to jump and break it. <laughs> That'd be a lot. Oh, we, we're out of haste completely. You probably need haste three to do that, I'm guessing. Oh, you have a, a cool sword in there. I forgot about. All right, let's grab it. And we have some deep growls in there that we will f figure out the identity of later. Not now. I think you, yeah. The fun thing is, is that once you figure out how to enter the crypt, which I'll show you guys in a minute, I won't show you the secret, I'll, I'll show you the crypt. Uh, you can get into it without finding all the books. So you guys, if you, there's a big spoiler alert in this. Then again, I mean, there's a ton of spoilers here. All right, so this is, what is it? I, I, I gotta get to myself. I just wanna get to myself here. And I know there's another chest up here. There's actually, a little trap here 
where it shoots at you if you walk along here. I can't remember where it is. And it doesn't seem to be working. But normally if you walk along here, there, there'll be uh, potions that shoot at you. And there's just a pole right there. Is that it? Fence post. Two hit kill. Pretty nice. Can't one hit crit them. Yeah, right there. So if you stand right there, you get hit with something. Ah, there we go. Finally, those thorns coming in handy. That's not the first time the thorns have come in handy, actually. So, pretty happy about that. Diamond leggings and a bunch of arrows. No biggie. We could climb up. You see here? This is something I had to add in the end. Uh, why did I have to add it? I'm trying to remember. I guess we'll find out when we get back up there. Um, but since I had to, add, I wanted to add a, a, a broken bit right here, I put some stuff here as if you could fix it, as if it was the blocks, you know, that fell down. Also for you to fix it if you didn't want to. Yeah, this is the thing that shoots stuff out. This, These are the immobility potions, just to show you how they work. And this, the reason the post is here is to, yeah, hit, uh, the potion will always hit the, po the, po the fence post. So it'll guarantee that I get splashed with it, or nearly guarantee it. Should we go put some stuff away? We do need more light. I should have made it to where the chest lit up. <laughs> It'd be really difficult. That would be insanely difficult, though. Let's go. Okay. We've gone around. We've gotten one of the chests back there. I think there's multiple, though. And the Oh, we haven't really checked out the topaz blade. On the bright side, we're not going to get a lot of issues when we come back to the crypt. So we're taking out all these spawners. You don't want to be in there and then all of a sudden, oh no, it's the end of the world. Oh, look at that. We got some more light right there. What can we throw out? I guess. Oh, here we go. This is an interesting paper that I don't think I've gotten yet. Um, regeneration, projectile protection, and fire protection, yes. We'll take fire protection. I'll keep the regen there for now. I think there's another one around right here. Did we get it yet? No, we haven't. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away before. Anything else? 